Hey everyone, uh, it is five days uh, until Christmas morning, and so I uh, just want to make you aware of that. Guys, I want to help you out. That's how many days you, well, actually you have four days to get the gifts that you need because five days is actually Christmas morning, and you've got to have them for that day. Uh, I wonder how many of us are still still working, still grinding it out, or how many of us are now uh, on Christmas break. You've taken some holidays around uh, around Christmas, and 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 your pace of life ha has changed. Uh, I, I know for myself, that's one of the things that I love about Christmas is Christmas Day, and maybe the day before, the day after, uh, tends to be a little bit of a uh, lesser load, maybe a little more quiet uh, than, than the regular grind of things. Um, it's easy to get uh, wound up in our, in our routines, you know, the things that we have to do at work, the things that we have to get done at home, our honey-do lists. Uh, there, there's just always something that has to be done. And it's not just always about the lists that have to be accomplished. It's also about uh, just our inner angst, uh, the things that we're worrying about, um, the, the, the hurts that are part of our lives, uh, how our families are doing, or, uh, or, or maybe we don't have our families around us. Maybe, maybe we're alone, or, or maybe we have experienced loss like uh, Cindy and I talked about on, uh, on Saturday. Um, there's all kinds of different experiences, stress points and anxieties that are just part of our, our regular day-to-day -day life. And if you look at the Christmas story, uh, you know, it's, the Christmas story is really not a peaceful story. It, it, it's, a, it's a story that uh, everything is in chaos. The lives of Mary uh, and, and Joseph, Zachariah and Elizabeth, uh, their, their lives are, are just turned upside down. <laughs> Zachariah and Elizabeth uh, are, are in their uh, senior years, and, and here they are. Uh, Elizabeth is, is pregnant and expecting uh, to give birth to John the Baptist, uh, Mary and Joseph uh, aren't even married, and, and, the, and the angel comes with the announcement that, that she is going to become pregnant with the Son of God, the one who will sit on the throne of David for all eternity, the Messiah that the people have been waiting for. And so it's great news, uh, even down to us, uh, this many thousands of years after his birth. Uh, but for Mary and Joseph, it was just a time of of, of turmoil. And then on top of all of that, they had to leave and, and they had to move basically to Bethlehem because of the census. And when they got to Bethlehem, there wasn't any place for them to stay. And so they ended up staying in the stable. Uh, and, and when Mary finally gives birth to Jesus, the only place that she has to put him to rest is in the manger. It's not a peaceful scene. Uh, and, and yet, uh, for many of us, not for all of us, but for many of us, Christmas is more of a time of taking a breath, relaxing, maybe having our, our family and extended family uh, around us, although this year that's going to be a, a little bit of a challenge as well. Um, but when we, we reflect on the Christmas story, the reason why Jesus Christ came, uh, it is to bring peace. It is to bring the forgiveness of sin. It is to bring salvation to mankind. Uh, the, that inner anxiety of, of our failures, of, um, or, and, and not just our failures, but things that other people have done that have affected us. Maybe they've done it to us or we've just been around in the, in, in the aftermath of somebody else's uh, sin and, and struggle and, um, and, and it causes hurts in our own lives and burdens that we have to wrestle with. And, and uh, Jesus says, not in the Christmas story, but, but later in his ministry uh, in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28, through 30, he says, this is, this is his invitation to us. He says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Um, you know, we try a lot of things to satisfy ourselves, to, to try and uh, find inner peace, inner en enjoyment, uh, 
purpose and meaning for our lives. Uh, but so often we resist and ignore God. Uh, we, we don't see that Jesus Christ is relevant in our lives. And, and yet his invitation to us is an invitation of purpose in our lives. It's an invitation of rest from all of the burdens, the anxieties, the stress points that we experience. Uh, and, and for some reason, we just so often uh, straight arm him. We, we, we just resist and I want nothing to do with it. Uh, and yet his invitation, and may you hear this this morning, may you hear this this Christmas season, his invitation is an invitation to draw near to him, to discover his rest his purpose, his meaning, to learn from him. Uh, and, and, I, and I hope that today uh, you'd be challenged and encouraged in this, but as we go into this last few days before Christmas, that, that maybe you would take the opportunity to receive that rest, to breathe, to read the Christmas story, to, to open the Bible. Maybe you want to sit and just find a quiet spot uh, in the midst of everything else that's going on. Uh, I'd encourage you, if you're going to read the Christmas story, Luke chapter 1 and chapter 2, or, or Matthew chapter 1 and chapter 2, uh, and, and just take a moment. Hear what he has to say. Listen to the story. He came to save us. He came to forgive uh, our sins. And, and in that forgiveness and in that salvation, there is peace and there is rest from everything we run from. There is meaning for our lives and there is invitation to relationship. That's not a bad thing. May we hear, may we hear today uh, his voice stirring in our spirit to draw near. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.